Welcome back. This has been pretty much a new joke week. Started on Monday, did five or six spots. Uh, really wanted to talk about the Ambani wedding, but only had one chance to do so because that will not work with a non-Indian crowd. No one that's not Indian has any idea what's going on. Luckily got to do it. Just got back from that Ambani wedding. Anyone else go? <laughs> That shit was wild, you mean Zuck, Billy G, we were chilling, they told me all the secrets. Was gonna do it here at Classic Car Club in Manhattan, but looked at the crowd, maybe three Indian faces, and uh, immediately bailed on it. Did a bunch of new stuff, but I don't want you to see it yet. You got to see me on the road. It's been a fun week, and you'll see some of it right now. I just clocked as a 12, how old are you? 12? 14. Oh, so that eating ass shit really hit home with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. What the fuck? Oh my god. Daddy, what's eating ass? It's when two people hate or love each other. <laughs> That's why, I mean, hey, look, it's all right. Kids are eating ass these days. We gotta get fucking used to it. People are, people are eating ass and no one has health insurance. That don't make sense at all. This is a wild time. America's the greatest, most optimistic set of people on the planet. Don't worry about it, man. You're gonna be all right. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird Uber ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone a Jay Shetty fan? Yeah. You are? Of course, there's a white lady. I'm Mexican. Yo, you're a Mexican? And you got got by Jay Shetty? In Mexico? Yes. You got got by Jay Shetty? I mean, he's smart. You know, he's, uh, he lied about being a monk, so this is perfect because this, I gotta educate you people about this Indian, British Indian dude who lied about being a monk and then convinced Gwyneth Paltrow that Goop was worth pursuing. Yeah. <laughs> so, he's making, that's, that's a beautiful angle of it. That's the thing, like all these white people are upset, like how dare he lie about his background and shit. And I'm like, I knew that he was a fraud immediately. No monk drives a BMW, you know what I mean? Like that's not, the Dalai Lama's not wearing Armani robes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Jay Shetty just stole shit from the Bhagavad Gita and put it on Instagram. <laughs> it was like, oh my God, and he got all these Mexicans, I guess. <laughs> it's wild. I'm, I'm all for it, dude. And then he's got a class. He's like, yo, for $7,000, you too can learn how to con people into fucking... <laughs> I'm only here to say uh, I'm starting a class. It's five thousand dollars. <laughs> it's called How to Spot a Scammer. <laughs> Did he get you with his British accent? Because if I told you give up all your worldly possessions and just pursue happiness, you would be like, get the fuck out of here. But if a British dude tells you, hello, give up all your worldly possessions and you'll find happiness. <laughs> oh my God, this charming motherfucker is on to something. It's the British accent that did it. And the eyes. And the what? The eyes. The eyes, oh yeah, he's got fucking piercing blue eyes. Never trust an Indian with blue eyes, okay? <laughs> all right, <laughs> that, that's a trick. <laughs> okay, my, my nephew's got blue eyes. He's... <laughs> He's charging four thousand dollars a month. <laughs> it's, I, like I, I just, I don't know why it amuses me that people are shocked that he's a con artist. You know what I mean? Because it's like he took Indian stuff like Hinduism and made money from it. I'm like, all right, it's about time one of us did that shit. <laughs> you know, anytime, anytime like uh, a goofy white person falls for some Hindu shit, I'm like, yeah, go, get your money. <laughs> like anytime I walk past a, a, a yoga studio and I see a bunch of atheists bending over, I'm like, yeah, what the fuck do you think you're praying to? You know, that's all fucking, if you, like, I told, a, I told this woman, that, you know, yoga is Hindu. She's like, it's not religious, I don't believe in God, it's, it's spiritual. It's like, you literally just quoted the Bhagavad Gita, you understand that? <laughs> I don't believe in God, that's fine, God believes in you, okay? Every time, every time you bend over, Krishna jerks off, that's what it is. 
Hey, it's going to come together. I know this is all over the place right now, but at some point, I wrote this on the train here, so on the, at some point, this is going to make a lot of sense. I'm surprised. What's your name, Mexican lady? What is it? Valeria. 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 Like malaria, but with a B? Sure. Yeah, I mean, that's what you said, right? Valeria? Yeah. Malaria, but with a B. Okay, well, nice to meet you, Mexican. How would you hear about Jay Shetty? Um, a podcast called Call Her Daddy. A podcast called Call Her Daddy. Yeah, you're getting all sorts of fucked up. With <laughs> all your gurus are wild. <laughs> all your gurus are just beautiful people. Don't trust beautiful people, okay? Nothing bad has happened to them. They should not be giving out life advice. Thank you. <laughs> uh, they were okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to go read a lot of Jay Shetty to understand how this man was such a master manipulator. But also, you know, he didn't really do all that fucked up stuff. He just tricked a bunch of people into believing Hinduism. <laughs> Good for you, dude. Adios.